Hi, welcome to Brittany Zeman's Psych 100 course, where today we will be talking about the human brain and the functions of the four lobes. In today's learning objectives, we will be able to learn how to identify the lobes in the brain and identify the functions of each lobe. And then we're going to try and assign activities to each lobe and be able to discuss the daily activities in which we use these lobes for. So right here we have an image of our, our brain and the four lobes included. And as we see right here, we have our parietal lobe. It's located on the top of our head. The next lobe we're going to discuss is our temporal lobe right here on the ears, followed by the frontal lobe. It's on the front forehead. And the last but not least, we have our occipital lobe on the backs of our head, mainly located on the sagittal plane and the coronal plane, the fronts and back of our body. So first we're going to talk about the functions of the frontal lobe. What do we think the frontal lobe does, Aikisha? Yeah, you're right. It does moder <laughs> it does uh, it accesses the motor functions, the problem solving, and the memory that we use on a daily basis. And I think the best way to remember about the frontal lobe is front frontal, it's the forehead, and that we use our basic memory, walking, talking skills in this in this lobe. Uh, the next lobe we're going to talk about is our occipital lobe. Jose, what's our occipital lobe do? Oh, I saw it. <laughs> You're right. It's the visual perception that we have. So I think the best way we can remember the occipital lobe right here in the back of our head is occipital, optical. It all kind of goes together. Um, and we see orchid, orchids with that, which is some flowers that we do like to see. Um, and we use this lobe almost every single day. So the next lobe we're going to talk about is our temporal lobe. And what does our temporal lobe do? Susie. Hearing. Good job. The temporal lobe is our auditory perception. So I think the best way to remember this is also by location. Temporal was right here. Remember, it's right next to our ears. Um, and we use that to hear our alarm clocks to make sure we are on time for all of our classes and assignments. And last but not least, what we're going to talk about is our parietal lobe. And Juan, what does our parietal lobe do? Perception. Good job! We have the parietal lobe right here with sensation, perception, and sensory input. And as we discussed, it has our perception, parietal, that kind of works together. And as we can see in this picture, perceptions are always changing. One end we have three sticks and one end we have four. Um, another way to remember this is by how far away that ice cream truck is from your front door and how fast you can get money to make sure you get that ice cream. So to follow this lecture, I want to have students get into groups of four different groups so that I can assign a load to each group. And then I want students to discuss the daily tasks that they execute throughout the day with that specific lobe and then go home and write a reflective essay, um, a creative short story, and, and possibly come back discussing, for example, you know, Sally woke up in the morning and she woke up by the alarm clock that she heard using her temporal lobe, something simple like that, and use this paper to try to discuss what the functions were and, and use that for their experiential learning, you know. You learned it in the classroom, now I want you guys to take it outside the classroom and try and execute on a daily basis what you're using every single day, potentially which lobe you use the most. Are you using your temporal lobe? Are you hearing things more than you're using your occipital lobe to see things? Or are you, are you having to remember dates and due dates more than with your frontal lobe more than you will have to use your parietal lobe um, for your sensations and perceptions throughout the day? And I really hope you can take away from this lecture what I've provided for you and that tomorrow I can review your homework assignments and thank you for listening.